Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll discuss about EMI and EMC. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. Here, first of all, I'll explain basics of EMI and EMC. After that, I'll discuss classes of EMC and EMI. After that, I'll discuss about EMC methods. And at last, I'll discuss about generation of EMI. So let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of EMI and EMC. The EMI means electromagnetic interference. It explains generation of electromagnetic interference. Sources of EMI could be natural sources or man-made sources. Natural sources could be lightning or solar flares. Man-made sources could be motors, RF transmitters or RF circuits. Let me take few examples. Let us consider here we have mobile that is receiving Wi-Fi. So mobile is receiving Wi-Fi signal that is wireless signal. And that Wi-Fi signal that is happening at 2.4 gigahertz of frequency. So other than Wi-Fi signal received by this mobile is EMI. Like right now I have Bluetooth mouse. This Bluetooth mouse is also sending signal which is there at 2.4 gigahertz. So the signal of this Bluetooth mouse that will be coming over here with this mobile Wi-Fi signal. So that is EMI. So the signal of this Bluetooth mouse that is EMI for this mobile, right? Likewise, this mobile could be receiving many other Wi-Fi signals. That is also EMI. EMI means electromagnetic interference. So unwanted electromagnetic waves received by given device is electromagnetic interference. Right. So here, if you talk about EMI, then there could be having two types of EMI, conducted EMI or radiated EMI. About radiated EMI, I have already told you, we can receive EMI via air. That is happening as per electromagnetic interference, electromagnetic waves, which are unwanted waves received by given device, that is EMI. That could happen through air that is radiated EMI and that could happen via power lines or signal lines that is referred as conducted EMI. Let me take some examples of conducted EMI. Let us consider in your kitchen you are having one grinder. Let us turn on that grinder. As and when you turn on the grinder and in your home if you observe the display of TV then in TV you will be observing bit murmuring that is disturbance created by grinder as and when you turn on the grinder that will be generating mechanical vibration and that mechanical vibration that will flows through power line of your home and that will be appearing in different devices right so that is happening as per conducted emi even as if i say i am connecting two devices via one transmission line. So via transmission line, if I connect two devices, then via transmission line also there can be a flow of conducted EMI. Right. So conducted EMI that happens through power line or signal lines and radiated EMI that happens via air. If you talk about EMC, then that is electromagnetic compatibility. The EMC explains control over EMI. So EMI is electromagnetic interference and EMC explains control over EMI. So under how much EMI given device is functioning that has been defined by EMC. So EMC controls EMI to work with given device under a given environment. So goal of EMC is to control emission control of EM waves as well as goal of EMC is to provide immunity control against EMI. So EMC explains control over EMI under how much EMI given device can function properly. Right. Let me take one example. Let us consider right now we have mobile. Right. And here let us consider I have a jammer inside this box. Inside this box I am having a jammer. Right now this jammer that is having minimum interference. 
so but obviously at minimum interference of this jammer this mobile will function properly but if i increase interference by this jammer then what will happen this mobile will be receiving more interference so after some interference this mobile may not work properly right so emc explains what emc explains up to what emi this device can function properly right and emi explains how much interference is there right now i'll be discussing about emc classes the emc explains standards up to what emi given device allowed to function properly if you talk about first class of emc then that is based on emission it explains radiation class of given device let me take one example see in your mobile if you want to check how much radiation is done by given mobile then you will have to write star has 07 has after giving this command in dial you will be observing how much sar level is there with given mobile for my mobile it is 1.13 volt per kilogram for head sar and for body sar it is 0.56 volt per kilogram so that is explained as per emission so for given device how much radiation how much emission is there that is coming under emission class of emc right the second class is susceptibility it explains the functioning of given device under radio frequency interference so under interference up to what interference this given device can function that comes under susceptibility means it explains how much susceptible given device is under given rfi rfi means radio frequency interference right the third class of emc that is coupling it explains intra and inter coupling of rf signals the inter intra coupling means with given device we may be having many blocks inside so inside given device there may be many rf blocks those blocks are coupling with each other that comes under intra coupling and one device couples with second device that comes under the class of inter coupling right so there are basically three classes which is there with emc right emission susceptibility and coupling now i'll discuss about emi classes emi explains electromagnetic interference and there are two classes first class is intra emi intra emi means with given device there could be multiple blocks like if you observe here we have mobile and inside mobile we have many rf blocks those rf blocks are coupling with each other that comes under intra emi and if you talk about inter emi then it explains radio frequency interference of one device with another device like if you have multiple mobiles in small area then those mobiles will be coupling with each other and they will be providing electromagnetic interference to each other that comes under inter emi right so within device whatever interference that is there from one block to another block that comes under intra emi class and from one device to another device whatever interference is there that comes under inter emi class right now i'll discuss about emc methods the emc provides control over emi to provide control over emi there are few interesting methods like you can observe first method is grounding see grounding is very essential in given device we will be having multiple blocks and with those multiple blocks it is very essential to have proper grounding so what is the meaning of proper grounding proper grounding means if one block is having impedance z1 like you can observe here block 1 that is having impedance z1 and block 2 that is having impedance z2 so you should not provide common grounding to these two blocks if you provide proper grounding to block 1 and to block 2 separately then we can minimize emi so grounding is very essential the reason is with different block we have different impedance so with different block that should be proper separate grounding 
we should not prefer common grounding right second is filtering see here block 1 is transferring signal to block 2 now here if we have rf signal which is having some unwanted signal which is coming over here then by using rf filter in between this two block we can minimize electromagnetic interference so by rf filter we can allow only required signal at block 2 right so using filters we can minimize emi the third method is shielding here i have shown two categories of shielding you can observe over here with block 1 this is intra shielding and this is also intra shielding and see with this given device complete shielding is provided that is inter shielding right so i have told you there are two types of noise or you can say there are two types of emi inter emi and intra emi intra emi that happens in between different blocks of given device so by shielding different blocks we can have intra shielding like you can observe over here by this orange color i have shown intra shielding and with given device you can provide complete shielding that is inter shielding the reason is after inter shielding there will be minimum emi to other devices right so shielding is one of that method by which we can minimize emi the third method that could be differential signaling using differential signaling we can minimize emi in differential signaling what we do is we subtract two signals so as if you subtract two signals then but obviously common emi that could be eliminated over here like we do that in twisted pair so in twisted pair by having differential signaling we can minimize emi right so these are the essential emc methods which is used to minimize emi there are few more methods even but generally we use these methods right that's why i have discussed these four methods otherwise more than these four methods also there are many other methods by which we can minimize emi now i will discuss about generation of emi the emi can be generated by many ways here i'll be discussing few ways only right see due to mechanical vibration we may have emi i have already given one example like if you use grinder at home low frequency noise that can be seen on tv right so that is what happening because of mechanical vibration so mechanical vibration may generate emi the generation of emi that happens because of transmitter as well so if you talk about generation of emi then generally you will be observing that is happening because of many transmitters like in single mobile there are many antennas one antenna will be there for gsm signal one antenna will be there for wi-fi signal one antenna will be there for bluetooth signal some antennas will be there for 5g so likewise one device that is having about five antennas right likewise there are many devices which is there with us so there are many transmitters that is surrounded by us that is generating emi right like mobiles tv antenna satellite transmitters right the emi that could be generated because of natural sources those natural sources could be atmospheric noise that could be cosmic noise solar radiation or lightning so because of natural sources also there is a possibility of generation of emi so that is how there can be generation of emi because of different ways i hope you have enjoyed this session till if anything that i'd like to share just note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video